it is still Wednesday the 8th of January 2020 and I told you I had several packages right um, this was another one of them and you could kind of tell what it might be um, I wasn't really planning on unboxing this tonight or rather recording it tonight um, I was actually planning on recording tomorrow because I had recorded two previously but um, I was just so excited and I just couldn't hide it I'm about to lose control and I think I, I think I like it <laughs> oh if you did not get that uh, wow well, I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry yeah um, yeah <laughs> sorry I just had a little disco moment there <laughs> but yeah um, guys this is my uh, paint my number kit from Victoria's moon okay so I have been waiting for this for a while now I have a little backstory to give you and I'll try to do it as quickly as possible because I know you want to see what's in here you don't really want to hear me talk but you want to hear see what's in here so let me let me just do this really quickly I um, I think it was sometime in November I I had this feeling you know as I was pondering what I wanted to do in the new year coming um, you know what do I really want to do do I just want to stick with diamond painting do I want to try other things uh, most creators are exploring their potential and trying other things and I thought okay well I don't want to be a one trip pony but I could try something different and um, when I was a teenager I used to paint so I was actually thinking how about painting and I actually drew and painted back then and um, I'm, I'm not too steady with the age now but I was thinking okay well how do I paint and I, I actually saw on uh, Amazon a paint by number kit and I thought okay well I could give that a try but then you know I went over and I, I watched a YouTube video about how to do, how to do uh, paint by number and I thought wow that's like way complicated um, maybe I don't have the time for that fast forward a few days and then I saw um, Mama Eskies, she was doing a paint by number kit. Uh, I believe it was the sunflower. She, it wasn't completed yet. She was still working on it, and it looked good. It looked so gorgeous, and I was like, "Wow, I really want to try this, but I don't know if I could do it." Fast forward a few days after Mama Eskies was showing off her uh, paint by number kit, I got a message from Alvina. So I think it was all meant to be, sort of, you know. Um, so Alvina asked me if I wanted a paint but she they were you know showing off paint by number kits and would I want one to do a review on and um, I actually said no I said no um, because you know I had so many diamond painting kits and my priority really is to get those done and put a dent in my stash and you know I don't finish my kits as fast as most people I take like three weeks to a month to finish a kit and that's really slow but uh, that's the time that I I have to work on it and uh, that's how fast I work so I told her no and then maybe about two hours later I started regretting it but I didn't want to renege I said no I said all right you know if, if it really bothered me I thought I would just buy one from Amazon um, but as it happens, you know, a couple days later, Alvina messaged me again and asked me if I wanted the paint by number kit. And this time I said yes. Um, so she told me to pick out, go over to the website and pick out a, a painting that I would like to try. And I did. And um, it looked fairly simple to me. To the untrained eye, it looked simple. So I said, okay, I'm going to get this painting because it does not look like it, it, it's going to take a lot. And I bought a, I asked for a small size. I told Alvina, I want a 40 by 50. I don't want anything big. 
that I can't commit to and I can't accomplish and I'd feel overwhelmed with. I wanted something small that I can take my time with and finish in a reasonable time. So, that said, let me get into this. And um, I had that conversation with Alvina on, <clears throat> sorry, <coughs> sorry, uh, let me see on the email here. It was on the 6th of December. Um, I gave her all the information on the 6th of December and she messaged me back on December 21st. So between the 6th and the 21st of December, that's how long it took before I got the tracking number. <clears throat> now, when I got the tracking number, I kept checking on the tracking number like every day. So I, I, I do that. I'm kind of meticulous like that. I want to see the progress. But, oops. Uh, okay. All right. Yeah, but the, the tracking kept saying that the label was made, but there was no movement. So I kept thinking, okay, maybe it's still in China. I'm guessing this comes from China. It's still in China. It's still in China. It's not moving. It's still in China. Lo and behold, it shows up in Miami. When it shows up in Miami, and I went and I checked the, the tracking info, the tracking history, this actually came from California. It showed up on register in California and then to Miami. There were uh, dates and stuff, but apparently FedEx, it came by FedEx. It was not updated on FedEx until the day it actually arrived in Miami. Anyway, that's boring stuff. But it took, it took, um, let's see, I got the tracking on the 21st and it did not show up in Miami until last week Thursday January 2nd right and um, it took a while to come down I think it it arrived in um, Trinidad on Monday the 6th and my courier dropped it off for me today so that's the history so let's get into this I'm really excited the kit is a nice kit there's actually it's pretty and it's in good shape compared to my last victoria's moon which was squished this is in good shape so fedex yes uh ups no so it says they're paint by number and there is a nice look at that isn't that cool so yeah it's a wrap around effect and then you have some images of the paint pots and you have images of paintings and it says their best wishes enjoy your beautiful life every day and that's actually good advice some people are not fortunate to be alive you are <clears throat> that makes it beautiful so enjoy it every day no matter what okay i got paints and I got a canvas. There we are. And, um, okay. <clears throat> really interested to get into this first. So, wow. This is like, now I don't know much about materials and cloth and so on, but this is a cloth. It looks almost like linen. And, you could see the green in the cloth there. I don't know how well you can see it. It's like woven linen. Anyway. So there seems to be a lot of paint here. And I should tell you guys though that... Uh, okay. So there's one... Uh, Foamy, I guess you could call it foamy tree of paint. I see you came out from here, and I got. I'm guessing two extra pots because this is not in uh, the foamy tree. 
foamy tray looks like this and by holding it like this you could kind of see what the color palette is like these are not like diamonds where I could show you each individual one but you could see the color scheme they are pretty okay yeah and um, two extra pots of what number five is so that means I have three pots of five okay this for me thing is kind of cool I like that all right and I got some paint brushes okay um it's it's dark green it's like a dark green sort of milky green background and there are two white lotus flowers and a lotus bud on the dark green water it's i will link the painting below so that you can see it really is gorgeous and um when alvina said i could pick anything and i went looking i was like okay what do i get what do i get what do i want and um <clears throat> what i wanted was something simple that was it bottom line simple um but i still didn't know like what image or what scene did i want and uh i was just going through all of them and then i got to uh, plants and then i started going through plants and i saw the lotus flower and i instantly felt relaxed when I saw that image of the lotus flower it was just so relaxing just looking at it and I thought yes that's what I want to get so I'm getting the lotus flower now this has numbers and I'm trying to understand how the schematic works number five I see so the bit in the pink that you see here are my paint numbers on each of these pots there is a number and if you could see that that's five but let me let me hold this up for you you can see now some of these are not labeled pretty well some are written in a marker of sorts and um not entirely sure if that what that looks like it looks like a 241 I think so I'm gonna have to figure out what each one is because uh, on some of the pots the numbers are faded but the schematic tells me the paint numbers on this side what's supposed to appear on the top of the paint pot and uh, the numbers on this side i'm not sure what that means uh, i don't think it means the amount in each pot in you know like a, a quantity i'm not sure but number five you see a times three there right there times three so there are three pots of five and it says times three there so 470 by three I don't think it's quantity because uh, the numbers on the side here vary so maybe it's the color code it's a code for the color this is the, the like how you would have a DMC code maybe this is a paint code I don't know so anyway enough about that let's get into the canvas which I'm pretty sure you want to see and I know I want to see okay I have actually watched a few unboxings of Victoria's Moon uh, paint by numbers because I wanted to be prepared and um, I saw a lot of people struggle with this but thankfully I, I got into it easily enough okay and here we go so I will hold this up here maybe and I am going. And it does come on a foam core, which is good. There is a distinct difference from the back and the front. 
this feels like there was something applied to it and um, based on because this feels very rough like woven cloth but this side it's a little smoother um, so based on watching the videos by uh, Mama Eskies um, this surface was primed now you are seeing a lot of squiggly lines and stuff in there that's where your uh, paint by numbers that's where your painting is going to go so there are some varying sizes of areas that are all numbered in some places the numbers are very very tiny and some are visible to the naked eye I'm going to have to use a uh, my magnifiers to see some of those and um, you also get a schematic with it and um, I was not sure what you would need a schematic for but I understood later the schematic is a reference to what is on the canvas what happens is when you take a color and you paint over an area where the numbers are let's say you accidentally put the wrong color on how you know how do you know what you need to correct it with you go back into the schematic you find the area you find the right number you find the right paint and you you uh, fill it in or you paint over it um, I don't know if that's what you do you actually paint over it or you try to remove that paint and then paint I'm not sure I have so much to learn. I've never done this before. This is my first time doing a paint by number. So it's a learning learning experience for me as well. So the schematic really is to reference again uh, areas that may have already been covered with paint to ensure you are using the correct pots. Um, I was watching a video last night about blending and the person needed the schematic because when you're blending two colors like the color that has to come here is 20 but adjacent to it there's a color 10 now when you fill that in with color um, you would need to go back to those colors to do blending there's a process to do blending a method if you cover the number how do you know which pot to go back to that's where this comes in because you can find the exact spot and see again okay there's 10 and there's 20 and that's what I need so that's what this is for right so this is very important guys don't take this uh, bit of paper for granted this is very important all right so it does not say anywhere on here 40 by 50 but I'm I'm going to guess that it is it looks to be about that 40 by 50 because it's not huge and my work area usually holds a 40 by 50 easily like this um, according to the chart you can see here this is the color scheme there are 24 colors in this painting which is much more than I thought would be here honestly when I saw the image I thought well that's just a couple colors I was thinking maybe 12 15 colors but this says 24 do I feel feel overwhelmed sort of not quite but um, I can do this I can I can I can um, and if I can't I'm definitely gonna give it a hell of a try so yeah the lines are all very clear the numbers are clear some are tiny though you would need magnifiers to identify um, because there are some areas that are tiny slivers that need paint and yeah you will need magnifiers to identify so if you're thinking about doing paint by numbers I would recommend maybe getting some magnifiers now um, in my 
excitement to try paying my numbers I went and I got some extra stuff nothing expensive I went over to consumer crafts and I got myself an easel an aluminum easel which was fairly cheap I paid uh, less than $15 for it $14 and I think 84 cents and that easel can um, adjust from a tabletop to a sitting height to standing height it's three uh, three heights that it can adjust to and um, it came in a nice tote bag so pretty good um, I also got uh, some extra paint brushes that I paid like three dollars for and I got 15 brushes they are not uh, quality brushes or you know fancy brushes or anything like that I think they're kind of like just cheap old brushes like this maybe slightly better than this but um, there are 15 of them hey um, at least if once I can use that to, and these to get into this um, into this kit and get this kit done I'm good I'm happy with that so guys thank you so much for joining me that's it for me um, I will tell you that this uh, kit as it is on Victoria's Moon it costs £12.99 not US dollars pound all right um, so again I, as I said I will link it below so that you can check it out and uh, see if you would like to try this or not it's an adventure for me new territory never done it before I hope to take you on this little journey with me and uh, I'll show you my progress as we go um, Victoria's mood <clears throat> sorry it was kind enough to give me a discount code which I will link below and uh, it offers you 10% off uh, any purchase and there's no expiry date to the code so you can I won't be making anything on it it's not an affiliate code it's just a discount code for you um, you can take that code and go over to uh, Victoria's moon and paste it into your into the appropriate section where they ask for a promotion code or a coupon code and you will get a further 10% off according to the website there they currently have uh, right 45% off free shipping this month an additional 10% off for orders over 35 pound right so they currently have 45% off there's free shipping this month and a further 10% off if you purchase over 35 pounds so that's probably a good time to check it out and um, with that I'm going to say thank you so much for joining me uh, thank you to Victoria's Moon and Alvina for sending me uh, this kit I have always wanted to try it I actually went looking for when I said no I found myself looking for an identical kit and uh, to buy uh, from uh, Amazon though and um, you messaged me back and I got the kit so I'm very happy to try it and I will post my progress as I go guys thank you so much for joining me and uh, wish me luck <laughs> wish me luck on this one uh, if you like the video please uh, hit the like uh, hit the subscribe button that red thing I'm gonna what's it down below yeah there uh, hit the subscribe and hit the bell for notifications and you will be notified whenever I do a new upload so guys thank you so much for joining me again and I will see you all on the next one it's my last video I promise I know I'm so excited and I really just can't hide it but um, yeah I I'm keeping the control now <laughs> it's my last video for the night I've just done three recordings OMG um, you guys probably won't see this one until maybe Saturday though yeah I have to pace myself so thanks again guys bye bye